welcome to Ready Steady Cook. Now, our chefs today, they really are the beauty and the beast. You decide which is which. <laughs> Leslie Waters and Brian Turner. <laughs> This is a new pairing. You've never worked together before. I can't believe you just said what you said. <laughs> Please don't get upset. She <laughs> no way. And knowing what a marvellous feminist you are and a real champion of women's causes, I know that you will, you know, play fair with I'm Leslie. not going to play. I'm just going to let you get on with it. No! Oh. <laughs> got a couple of very good contestants for you, so shall we meet the first person who's going to play? Ready, steady, cook! <laughs> Please meet Michelle Hewson from Berkhamsted. And Michelle is going to try out to be a gladiator. What now? Not well, <laughs> this minute, but that's how fit she is, so you better look out. How often do you train a week and what do you do? Um, well, my main sport is swimming, mm -hmm. and I train three times a week. Um, I do some aerobics when I can fit it in. I also teach swimming as well. Good. Well, it's interesting because I watch gladiators every week. Really? I'm very energetic. <laughs> <laughs> Open up your bag. Does this mean you've got very healthy food in here? Let's have a look. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> You're the king of the cholesterol here. Oh, oh potatoes. Right. Oh, lovely. Pork fillet. Oh. Yes. Right, Wonderful. what have you got? Right, I've got some pork fillet. I've got courgettes, carrots, potatoes and onions. Why? I don't eat vegetables. What? Oh! So, this is a way to... Oh, no. no I oh, you're going to them today? No. Yes. I, oh, right, I, fine. We don't eat very many of them, and it's... We want to try and get away so that we can sort of disguise them and eat them more without sort of noticing Thinking them. Thinking they're boring That's and it. ghastly. That's it. Make them interesting without too That's much it. cream and butter, please. Mm -hmm. How what? much did all that cost you? £3.56. £3.56. Cheapskate to boot. <laughs> <laughs> get thinking as we meet the next contestant who's going to play Ready, Steady, Cook! <laughs> This is Robin Balance from London, and how are you? Hello. I'm very Hello. well, thank you. And you are, it says, art director and graphic designer. That's correct, yes. And a very good cook. Well, yes, ish. Mm, I have some very nice friends, I think. Oh, I don't think so. I think you are a good cook. Let's see what you've got in the bag. Oh. Oh, Ooh! Why no. have you brought this? I'll take that. Thank you. Um, I love... Spinach and it grows on the beach down in the country, but sadly I didn't have time to pick beach any. In which bit of the country? In the Hampshire. Oh, in Hampshire. Which beach? Uh, down in Needs Or, near Bewley. Oh. Um, and we pick it freshly and, and boil it, but I'm, I'm cheating by using this. Okay. Uh, lasagna, I'm not actually very good with sort of lasagna. It tastes a bit sort of like wallpaper paste when I cook it. Right. And mozzarella I've never actually cooked with before. Um, right. I've actually, you know, obviously <sighs> tomatoes basil and mozzarella and that's it but I mean never actually used it to cook in mm -hmm. mushrooms flavor onion and parmesan parmesan how much <laughs> did that cost you uh, 4.93 four pounds 93 yep. excellent well now Leslie and Brian help yourself to the larder as you usually do and Brian what are you gonna cook up for Michelle well, I just think we're going to cook something very simple, but very tasty we're gonna uh -huh. marinate the pork that will only take we're gonna cut it it'll only take us three minutes to cook no more so that ah, I don't want any pink meat today I Are really would like it cooked. We want this show for gourmets, not for philistines. Hands up, everybody. Isn't that right? Aren't yeah. we all gourmets here today? Yeah. You come and eat the pink pork, then. <laughs> He's just stopped <laughs> eating. Pork mm. is wonderful on the cook. Anyway, we're going to marinate that, and then we're going to saute that. I'm going to make a little potato uh, crisp to sandwich them up, and then we're going to disguise all the vegetables inside the so that friendly so you here will be confused. There, Michelle. <laughs> Is that it? That's it. And oh. it'll be just so good that I mean Yeah, I'll leave him rambling on. <laughs> <laughs> right. Robin and Leslie, what are you gonna cook? Well, we're going to do two different style lasagnas. We're going to do a normal sort of baked one, which is flavoured with the mushrooms and spinach, and we're going to do that first and get that in the oven. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice layered one with cream and cheese. And then we're going to do an open one on a plate. So, um, and we're going to hopefully have time to make some pesto sauce, because oh. we've got some parmesan, but we're, we're going to make a slightly lighter pesto sauce, mm -hmm. so that it's much easier to eat with the lasagna. So mm -hmm. it's not, it's really thick self, it's a much slightly diluted diluted version but Sounds it'll be lovely. lovely good well both of you sound as if you really are on top of this so when I say the words you have only 20 minutes are you ready steady 
cook. We give, um, what's your name, Michelle? Michelle. Michelle. The, the easy things Thanks. to do, if you yes. just peel all these for us first, that would be fine. And I will carry on with the important things in life over here. Are you, you going to four be four carrots, two potatoes, one onion, just peel, day. please. Yes, yeah, I'm not aggressive at all. I'm being absolutely suave and sophisticated <laughs> and charming. and moist. Cool. Don't cut oh, we'll use that. That's okay, use that one. Right, what's going on? I think we should actually just get the beauty of this dish. I hear what you say about pink meat, you know, but you shouldn't tell people not to eat pink meat because pink meat, if it's good quality meat, is wonderful. Just going to take off the nerve here. Did somebody come in? No. Oh, fine. I'm going to make two medallions and put this to marinate, get lots of flavour in it, so we'll just trim off there. I'll go there, I'll go there. And we'll just use something heavy. <laughs> there. Oh! Aha! Uh -huh. yeah, so you stand to... it on its end and then That's do right, the smash. It's with the grit and it's it's fill it so it's nice and soft meat. That's lovely. And I've got lots of goodies over here. I found I know. So we'll use um, soy sauce. It's got a really good seasoning in here. So Worcester sauce. Be very careful if you do it at home. Please measure it out very carefully so you get an exact <laughs> scientific <laughs> marinade. Okay. <laughs> Because otherwise you'll spoil it. This is sesame oil. This is a very trendy thing. Last year it was all balsamic vinegar, and this year it's definitely sesame oil. Balsamic vinegar, good thing. Oh, well, there we go. Yes. Good thinking, man. Bit I didn't think of that. Well, it's good to have you here. Good. In there. Anything else? Right, I'm going to put the water on here. Now, what's we need that to... for? We're going to blanch the courgette. I've got courgettes here, haven't I? And I'm going to yeah. cut them on one of these very sharp, silly things. Put those out of the way. We don't need those anymore. I might use them to make the sauce. Mm. That's just, just going to sit there, is that? Just and you, you do you've seen these, haven't you, before? These Japanese mandolins. They are very, very dangerous in the you've wrong hand. You've had two minutes already. So you need to just carefully. But the beauty of them is you can get. Now that is sensitive. Wonderful. Use it with a tea towel. No one else has done that. Yeah. Well, they're not all as old as me. Don't forget. Yes. Could I also suggest something else? Instead of using one of those brutally dangerous pieces of equipment. Now, I know I'm only a presenter and all that stuff, but... Oh, hang on, I can't find it. Oh, look at this. That's the one, that's the one. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Michelle. <laughs> Couldn't you? Yeah, yeah, we'll go and do it, see how it goes, see how it works out. Oh, that's lovely, yes, good. Oh, you see? It, will, it will improve. No, it, ca it can't, it must improve there, I see. It's lovely. So that would be better, wouldn't it? I suspect it? it's probably just a wee bit thin, but yes. that's, it's fine, because what I'm going to do, I've got some mould somewhere. push harder and make them a bit thicker. Here. Yeah. But the nice thing about this, you see, is that it is actually controllable. You can actually change the sizes. Mm. With that, you've just got the one. And it's a great idea if you haven't got one of these. And if you're making for 5,000... You just 000, need to book an ambulance before you use this. Oh, be sensible and use a cloth. <laughs> right, I'm going to blanch those then. I'm going to yep. cut them off in some salted water. You've had three minutes. Oh, lovely. We're doing fantastic here. Um, I'll leave you. OK, because I'm right. going to be very simple over here. I'll call you when we're ready. OK. How's the lasagna? Oh, it's all going here. We've put three quarters of the spinach, Fern, in here. Yes, and only we, three quarters. Yeah, only three quarters. So I want to use some raw. Yep. And we we washed it well, and with the water that was attached to the leaves, is enough to steam it. And yes. It once it kind of goes, ah, oh, it's ready. All right. So you just take <laughs> a little pinch of sugar. So dramatic. <laughs> so, yeah. We've got some onions here, which we're just going to start those off, getting those nice. Bit of and olive oil in there. Bit of olive oil in there. Mm -hmm. Um. In here is the water okay. coming up to the boil to cook the sheets of lasagna. You know, I've never, ever cooked lasagna. You haven't? No. I think it's absolutely lovely. I think, unfortunately, it became very fashionable and mm. there are a lot of bad lasagnas and people went off them. Do you know what? Because there's lasagna and there's lasagna. Mm -hmm. And I think it can be absolutely lovely. And hopefully this will be. OK. Um, so, you this know... This is the vegetarian version because there's no mince or anything like no, that. No, that's right. You've had four minutes already, by the way. I'm putting just a little bit of oil in there yes. to cook it. This will only take about three minutes. That helps to separate the leaves, doesn't yes, it? Yes, that's right. So we're just putting mm -hmm. a few in at three time. minutes. About three minutes, yes. yeah. And then here we've got... I'm going to make a very light sort of pesto sauce because originally pesto sauce... Actually, pesto sauce is made up with now mostly pine nut, parmesan, basil, basil. garlic and olive oil. Oh, wow. But originally pesto sauce actually didn't have any pine nuts in. Um, pine nuts were only introduced about 100 years ago. So we're going to do it the original way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if that makes which sense. Which is? Which is um, lots of garlic, 
Um, what was that? A couple of cloves you bunged in? Yeah, a couple of cloves. Yes. A good bunch of um, basil. basil. And if you haven't got basil, then you do a poor man's one by using lots of parsley because that will give it a lovely colour. Oh, yeah, um, yes. What else? Parmesan cheese, just a little bit. Normally pesto sauce has a lot of parmesan in, but we're going to make a lighter one. Yes, OK. If there's anything you haven't got that I've got, you can borrow anything you like over there. I don't, if you want a hand, I'll put you this in. <laughs> I'd be very happy to help. Just, just remember that. Right? OK. OK. Wait till you win, then it would be so charming. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Brilliant. Yep. Now, Robin, if yep. you can get a bowl of water, yep. cold water for me, um, fill it up. There's some big bowls um, somewhere around, some big mixing oh. bowls. Yep. Yes. We've got one, my love. We're all right <laughs> And some olive oil going in there, quite a lot firm, probably about a quarter of a pint. Now, once again, if you don't want to use that much olive oil, mix the two together so you get a little bit of flavour of the olive oil. Yes. And some flavour. Yes, OK. And how much of the parmesan did we do? We sort of miss that in the melee shape. Well, we're, we're probably well, going to put about a tablespoon in. A tablespoon. Okay. Right, what you want to do right. is lift these out, mm -hmm. OK, because they only take about three minutes to cook. Right. So lift them out into the water so you right. stop okay. the pasta stop from cooking. cooking anymore. Don't get any soggy. So that was three minutes in there. OK. Good. Yes. Fourteen minutes left. It was three <laughs> minutes. <laughs> <laughs> three minutes. Finish it off yet. Right. So I'm just whizzing this again. Whizzing. How are you doing there? Right. right. We'll get some more lasagna in. And once Oops. that's in, we'll actually start to... Don't worry, yep. that's OK. So where do you think you go wrong with your lasagnas? If you say I don't know. Like they concrete. just... I mean, I could just tile the bathroom with them. I don't know where <laughs> I go. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Honestly, I, I, I don't know why friends stay coming round for dinner if I do lasagna. Which is why I don't well, do lasagna. They say, because it says here, you adore cooking and you can do anything from a quick pasta dish to a lavish lamb dinner. Well, that's normally sort of st uh, spaghetti, tagliatelle type pasta. Yes. Not, not lasagna. I don't know what it is with, with lasagna. It's just, it's difficult. It's a problem. What's this thing here that your dog bit uh, into a leg of lamb? Ah, uh, yes, I was having... For a dinner party. <laughs> I was having a dinner party for 12 one night and while leaving the lamb to rest on the kitchen worktop, as I'd been told to do, yes. my, my little dog decided he wanted to join in, so literally very gently lifted the, the lamb off the plate, but took the plate with him, and I heard a light thud. I mean, you'd expect shattering china everywhere. Mm -hmm. And there was the dog, sort of just about to tuck into lamb's supper. I had to actually explain the, te the, the teeth marks, because I'd taken the garlic out of the, um, the lamb. <laughs> Well, you just put mm. the garlic studs into the tea yeah, marks. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yes. A very good cheat. No wonder you're a graphic artist. And <laughs> whatever, whatever. OK, I'll leave you for a little bit, okay. because you're obviously just in a preparation stage. Meanwhile... Oh, hold up, hold up. Oh, if you just show you over here, we're taking the potatoes and slice them. Michelle sliced them. I've taken them off the heat for the time being. I've got these rings. And just very carefully, Michelle is just laying them on. And just making sure that... She doesn't drop them this way because you burn yourself. So you put them in and you take your hand away that way. Okay. Okay. And we're so gonna you're building little spirals. We're going to build little spirals, and then we're going to take a spoon. Can I just stop you there as well? Yes. Did you peel the potato, then put the whole Can I move lump it? through there? Yep. Can Not I move yet. it? Not yet. Right. And then you slice that big shape of. No, Brian sliced them first, but then I did the shape with oh, the. Right. Can I move the it? Cutter. Now. Thank you. <laughs> And you need a, a spoon on here. It's not on the heat yet. Twelve minutes left. Twelve minutes, Leslie. We're going to put on the heat over there, but what we need to do is just keep pushing them down so the natural starch will when stick them together. The no, I'm going to put them back onto the heat and okay. then bring them off just to keep pushing them down, OK? okay. Right, you put okay. those yep. on there. So we get a nice, wonderful, crisp colour. I'll take that off there. Mm -hmm. I've got an onion going on here. Sorry, excuse mm -hmm. me. That's right. In my little wokey pan here with some butter. So we make an onion and carrot stew to go with our... Oh. Inside our courgettes. Now they're on the heat. Put them on the heat, yep. if please, love it. And then just keep pressing them down. Do you Can mind that on a healthy diet? I don't what, know. An occasional burst. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt your conversation. I do apologise. Mm -hmm. Right. So those have been quickly blanched. Your courgettes. Uh, yes, courgettes are blanched. Oh. And, then and lots... then did you run them under cold water? Yes, refresh yes. them. Lots of butter. Can you pass the cup of milk, please, young lady? Hi, the young lady. Oh, creep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hang on, yes. you can be sit don't they look they look they don't look alike like sisters, yeah. don't they? Yeah? Be a gladiator do I look like too. Cinderella? <laughs> Tell me about your gladiator business. When, like, what ha what's happened so far? Well, it was actually a couple of years back. I um, I went for the tryouts, but unfortunately, um, I'd been skiing a few weeks before, and I unfortunately got a bit of food poisoning. 
food poisoning? Yes. The rest of my party she didn't... Had well done pork. My, the rest of my party insisted it was alcohol poisoning, but I'm still sticking to my guns that it was yeah. food poisoning. And so I couldn't really train for you a few weeks up to it, and so when I got to the tryouts, I was not quite as fit as I could have been. Oh, so. Are you going to try again, though? Oh, yeah, definitely. Good. What definitely. would your gladiator name be? Maybe oh. something really butch, like Brian or something. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor. Yeah. <laughs> what, about, what about Fern? Oh, dear. Right. Oops. The ten minutes, we're halfway now. Wonderful. The carrots I'm, I'm are I'm just going to cut these into a little dice, and I'm going to cut the same size as the uh, onions. Yeah. And we're just going to stew them with a little bit of white wine and some whatever herbs we've got over there, spices we've got over there. Uh -huh. I'm going to pack them inside here. It's part way, it's not quite there, but okay. just get the carrots on the way. Yeah. These so are the carrots and onions in butter yeah, and oil there. You just the take them off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Put, we'll put them inside the oven. Let's put the oven in the oven just to finish off baking yep. in the oven, OK? Good. Okay. I'll leave you. Thank you. Oh, my goodness, we've missed a bit of excitement here. Yes, all we've done, Phil, is remember those sheets of lasagna? Yes. We drained them and made them nice and dry. Olive oil in the bottom of the dish. How do you make them nice and dry? Pat them on just the tea towel. Just pat them on a clean tea towel. Yes. It was clean. Yes. And kitchen um, paper. Yes. Um, oil the dish, a layer of lasagna, then we added some cream and a little bit of mustard to the mushrooms which were on here. Yes, And we put away. some cooked spinach on one layer and the mushrooms on the other. We've got these little mini mozzarellas. Ah, so the cheeses, little balls, you the cut little those balls, off a bit. And just a touch of parmesan wow, as fantastic. well, going over the top. Does the mustard have to be the coarse grain? No, you can use, don't use English, use the Dijon mustard, mm. the French mustard. Mm. Um, but it can be smooth or rough. Absolutely. Right. And you could put another layer of pasta on the top, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to. It's got two layers of mm. lasagna there, so that's so we can going to go it. into the oven. Exactly. So it was a leaf of lasagna pasta on the bottom, yeah. followed by that mushroom and spinach layer. Yeah. Then another sheet of lasagna. Exactly. And, it, bleh, and that's it. Yeah. Now mozzarella on the top, not mo in the middle. Not in the middle, no. We didn't have quite enough, but I don't think you need too much because it's quite rich. Yes. Now, going back to this, this is the this. light pesto. This is the light pesto. And recap again, we've got basil, basil olive, olive oil, olive oil, garlic, garlic in there at the moment. And parmesan. OK, you've got eight minutes now. Okay. Eight minutes now, Brian. So we're just going to put that on again. Mm -hmm. Give it a whiz. <laughs> <laughs> and if you, give, if you look at that now, it's, it actually mm. is starting to look yes. like a very, mm. very... Oh, it smells. Oh, wow. Yeah. Smell. Yeah. Have a yeah. smell. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Oh. What a relief when it yeah. works. Oh. Right, yes. okay. The sauce has gone off. <laughs> <laughs> you stick to your own kitchen over exactly. there. Exactly. Now, we didn't add all the mushrooms with the cream and the mustard for the lasagna. Once we fried half of them, we took half, half out. out so that we can use them for this. Right. Um, let's just have a bit of a clear up here. So what are you going to... Oh, this is your open lasagna. This is an open lasagna, yes. yes. So... What I'm going to do is to add a bit of colour to this lasagna. It's quite nice if you use a green lasagna. But if you've just got a um, normal egg lasagna, which is lovely, what you can do is just melt a little bit of olive oil in a pan, yeah. add some turmeric and some chopped herbs, and just toss oh, the pasta yes. in it, which is what we're going to do oh, now. Right. We've got seven minutes now. Right, salt and pepper on there, please. So get the pan on, put a little bit of olive oil in. Olive oil in. If you oh, could bring over the turmeric right. and yeah. chop me some parsley, <gasps> very, very roughly. Yes. And that will kind of almost be a last-minute thing, Fern, because okay. I don't want to cook it too much. Shall I disappear no, for a bit? Nothing. Yes, that would be lovely. Jolly kids. Now, with seven minutes to go, I saw you put the pork in, so... Right. I've got that on the go, there, so I'm going, to, I'm going to make the sauce in that pan as well. Yep. I've got in here... Have a spoon, please. Yep. I've got the carrots ready cooked. I'm just going to finish them off in the oven. Carrots, I've got onions. paprika and cumin in there. Uh -huh. Just fill those up. Very clever idea, these little tin bowls, isn't it? Top. Will they tip out? Yeah, hopefully. Right. Hopefully. And then just fasten it all over the top like that. Yes. Like Six minutes so. now. What have we got in the oven? Uh, the um, potatoes. 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 Just press them down. Right. Bung that in the oven as well, please. Yep. At the side fingers. of the potatoes. That's going to be lovely. And then just... Squeeze. Squeeze, that's right, lovely. Okay, and that one as well, please. Now, when you get older next time, it'll be hot, so be careful. Yep. I'm going to make the sauce in this pan when it's cooked. See how the marinade has seared it on the outside? Ooh. So it's <laughs> lovely and... Um, I'm not doing that in my kitchen. Can you swim? <laughs> right, I can swim, but I don't burn very well. all of that lot and get rid of all that for me, please? Yep. That's great. I've got some 
cream on here, and I'm going to put some. I'm going to make a little butter sauce just to flood over the top okay. of our um, doodah oh, willy when it's ready. I want to. Um, we've got time to really look at one of your sauces today, so go through it step by step. Okay. Well, that that's not really the sauce. This is what they call a beurre blanc, and it's just butter, perhaps a bit of white wine, salt and pepper. That's coming in nicely. Minutes, yeah. Okay, that's great. Let me just check the oven. Brilliant. I'm going to take those out. We'll get this sauce in a minute. These are going to be ready. Don't touch those, it's hot. OK. Uh, when I do, well, I'll show you the sauce then. What I'll do is I'll change the pan. I'll put that in there and cook that off in there. Yeah. So that the sediment in here, that bit of burnt bit and flavour, we want to keep that. This is this deglazing business. De deglazing, that's quite right. Now, the thing What's to that? do is, this is a bit of chicken stock. Yeah. Now, the thing to do if you're going to deglaze is, when you've got a hot pan, is to take it away from the heat. Stand back. Because it will jump up and down. That's OK. Oh. But that doesn't matter <laughs> if, you're near the heat, if you're not near the heat. If you're near... Oh, the smoke alarm's OK. Yeah, you'll get sprinkled in a minute. If you do it on the heat, the water will come... And it, then it'll start to flare. You don't want that. No. But what we want is really just a jus. So we want a reduction... A jus be meaning the sort of juice As of the... As opposed the, the juice, the that's right. of whatever you cook. So if you taste Ooh, that now... minutes now. Wonderful. Put a bit of marinade in. There, put marinade in, in there. Mm -hmm. Can you bring that butter back? Sorry, oh, please. Oh, that's right. And then just chop that chives for me. And oh. then what's going to happen to that? Is that pan on hot enough? In that pan at the back, it was cream... It's just cream in here. Just cream at the moment. A touch of white wine, and I'm now going to put in some mm. butter to make a butter sauce, and I'm going to whisk it in there to make it nice and smooth. Not too much, because there are people here who don't like butter. Oh. OK. <laughs> yes. I then taste this. This is lovely. This is a... Want to taste that? No, thanks. That is so good. And now, what we're doing is we're not losing any flavours, though. We're combining all the flavours together. Yeah. And we need now to start to get our act together, because yes. in another two minutes... I'll be saying two minutes, minutes over. or a minute, or... You have three minutes left now. Oh, three minutes. Right. Now those potatoes aren't very brown on the top. Is that normal? Well, we take that off. Yules. And we put that on there. Yules. And we'll put this on the here. Yules. And we will now pray to the good Lord that when you actually take that there and you just go like that. Aha. Uh -huh. Is that brown here for you? Yes, that is. And Same another... again here. Oh, it's going to be a tall lot, right? That sauce is getting nice and thick, isn't it? And sort of. Let's turn that over. Sticky. It's obviously got stage fright, as this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just watch you build this and then I'll go and see well, how they... I'll call you back if you like, because I'm actually now oh. going to just warm it up and put that in the last minute. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh! Ah! Oh, Robin, tell me what you've done. This is the coloured... This is the turmeric and, um, and lasagna, which uh, Leslie's just fried. And what, um, was the, what was the fresh herb in there? Turmeric. That was just um, parsley. Parsley. parsley and turmeric. Mm. So you just colour it up yeah. with the oil and up. the turmeric. Yeah. Yeah. As yellow as you want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you've got one on the plate that's been filled with your mushroom and yeah. onion. Two minutes now, mushroom oh. and onions fried yeah. up. Oh, I'm such a messy cook, Fern, no, honestly. No, you're not <laughs> and then the pesto wow. over the top. Yeah, so I mean this dish isn't piping hot, but you know, sometimes warm food it actually works not really so well. Bad, no. And then just push it down like that. So you'll you make quickly whiz it through the oven, could you? You, you could. I mean, you fussy. could do this whole thing, Fern, if you wanted to, in a baking sheet exactly the same as that and do it in the oven if you ah. wanted to. But this is a one and a half way minutes. of doing it. And we're finishing up there with a lots of layer of... This is lovely. ...as you go. And in the salad bowl is what? Well, there's the rest of the spinach, because I really chopped love... Up. Chopped up. And with the rest of those little... Um, Mozzarella, mozzarella balls. balls. And did you put any dressing in there? We put we put a very simple dressing of olive oil and a little bit of lemon and salt and pepper. And oh, that's it. it. No vinegar, nothing. No. One minute now. Oh, the colours are lovely on the plate. So Mediterranean, isn't it? How are we doing in the French right, cuisine we're ready. area? So we take off those. Hopefully they'll stick hold up. Very good. Like that. I'm going to put the sauce over the you top just put now. Put them in the oven. There was no just, steaming just or anything. Bake them in the oven. Forty-five seconds now. That goes on the top Gravy like on the top. That. This one. Can you get the yogurt? Yep. That's going to happen to the cream sauce. That goes on there. And I'm just going to put a bit of yogurt in here. Thirty seconds now. That was cream and white wine, yogurt, oh, and a herb. And now put some yogurt and chives in there because I want it to slightly sour. Okay. Turn everything off. 20 seconds now. Oh, nice and forks. Yep. Well done, Robin. Yes, wine, glasses. Nice and forks in the... There's a little jar there. 13 seconds. 11 seconds. No, 
You, of course, sitting in the audience, have to decide who is the winner today. So, Michelle, you tuck in and mm. give us the verdict in a minute. Brian, what are you going to call this? Well, we're going to call it a marinated pork tower with crisp potatoes, vegetables in disguise and a soured cream sauce. You like these short, snappy titles, don't you? Um, the raw ingredients were the pork fillet, potatoes, onion, carrots mm. and courgettes. That's right. How did you do it? Good question. It's marinated pork, just soaked very lightly with just that tinge of pink inside, which is the way everyone should eat it, of course. Crispy sliced potatoes, sautéed in a mould to get a nice crisp shell. And then the vegetables are just very simply cooked, but with cumin and paprika. And then the sauce on top to contrast between the marinade, which is really quite strong and luscious, is sour cream with yoghurt and chives. How's it looking, Michelle? Oh, there will be none of this for the camera crew today, I tell you, this is so oh, good. Oh, he's going to eat it. Marvellous. It. Really is it? Oh. Keep jumping then, right. Hey, Robin, Robin, this is your chance mm. though, you, so you tuck in. Um, Leslie, what are you going to call this lovely lasagna? I think we're going to call it lazy lasagna, because that's what it is really. Good. The raw ingredients were spinach, the lasagna, mozzarella cheese, onion, chestnut mushrooms and the parmesan. What did mm. you do? Well, what we did was we first of all cooked the sheets of lasagna for a couple of minutes, mm -hmm. um, refreshed them in cold water. We fried off the onion and the mushrooms until they were softened. We added cream and mustard to half of the mushrooms. We cooked off the spinach and we layered up and made our lasagna and flavoured it with mozzarella and then whacked it in the oven. Mm. With the rest of the mushrooms, we also made a pesto sauce with basil, olive oil, parmesan and garlic, but without the pine nuts, whizzed it up with a little bit of water and then made an open lasagna with the rest of the mushrooms, the pesto sauce and a little bit of spinach salad on the right. side. How is it? Gorgeous, absolutely delicious. Is it? Which yes. is nicer, this open one or the hot baked mm. one? Well, they're, they're both different, so they're both as lovely as each other. Mm. Mm. Are you keep eating eating mm. while we decide who's going to win delicious. today then. Is it going to be green peppers or red tomatoes? Would you please care. vote <laughs> now? <laughs> ah, well. The audience decides it's Green Pepper Day. Congratulations, well done. Well done. Thank you very much. There's a hundred pounds of our lot. And um, good luck on gladiators. Thanks. We'll look out for you. Well done, Brian. Oh, brilliant. Thanks. Robin and Leslie, well, you did brilliantly you as ever. And thank you very much. You go home with the gourmet hamper for two, which uh, okay. perhaps the dog would like. And his son. And his son. <laughs> and his son. Oh, my yes, goodness. Yes. You've got a whole menagerie. Oh, God, thank yes. you both very much indeed. Well thank done. You. Thank, thank you very much for watching. We look forward to seeing you very soon. From all of us, bye-bye.